Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, I thank all of you. I thank God for what God is doing. I know that God is a good God and God has made us to be alive today. Today is a wonderful day. Wherever you are, I want you to be glad and rejoice because God is about to do a new thing in your life. Today, program is a wonderful program. God has already designed it for you. Wherever you are, I want you to make sure that you connect to all your friends, all your relatives, families, because God is about to give you a double portion today. Who is speaking to you right now is Vitalis Oduma. As you can see me, so many of you know me. And those who don't know me, you can see my name on the screen. And today, great news for you is that God has brought someone in order to multiply a blessing, in order to add addition, in order to increase a blessing, in order for we to join hand with corporate anointing to bless you. I have someone here that God has sent all the way from Nigeria. He's a great man of God. He's a prophet. Um, Israel Ofunne is here with me. People of God, I want you to know that he is a powerful man and he is here to bless you. People of God, he is here with right hand with me. Man of God. God bless you, sir. God bless. I want to thank God for today. And I believe that today, God is about to do a new thing in somebody's life. Somebody today, I will prophesy to you, it does not matter how long you have been in that trouble, in that problem. But Isaiah 10, 27, the Bible says, it shall, it shall come to pass on that day that his body shall be lifted off your shoulder and the yoke off the neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of anointing. Amen. So I prophesy to you this morning that, that problem that you are into for all this while, all these years, today is the end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So people of God, that is a wonderful that you can say we are full, full and God is already planned this because of you. That's why this man you can see here right now is not, not only for in the television, but God has designed him and brought him all the way from Nigeria for a special time in your life, for a special program for you. And that's why a special program has set for you. And before we go on, I want us to pray, man of God. Father, Father we thank you for everything you have done. All of them that are gathered, wherever they are right now watching us. Father, I know that today is their day. Yeah. Use us to become a blessing to them. Amen. Use us to become a blessing to them. May the word that will come become a blessing to them. May the word that is coming become a word that will change their destiny. A word that will transform them. And remove anything that is holding their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Clap your hand for wherever you are. Give God clap. It's a good God. It's a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, people of God, like I said before, there is a special program designed for you. Mm. And that's why God has sent his son in this time for you to be blessed. And this program is going to keep, kick off on Thursday. That's on Thursday. It's a, a freedom from bondages. Freedom from every bondages. It's going to start on Thursday at Live Grace Ministry International. Thursday the 17th. The time is 7, uh, 7 p.m. From 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., I want to, anywhere you are, make sure you are connected. Take their address. Call if you cannot get. Make sure the time is a special time. It's a special day that God will bless you. Amen. And that day is going to be extraordinary. Amen. After Thursday, it's going to be also on Sunday, which the man of God will also be there. He will do everything to make sure that God, who have sent him, will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man of God, what do you have for this program? Tell the people of God so that they can hear. Uh, what I want to tell the whole world is that those that are in London should locate the address and they should meet us there. On Thursday, we are going to be live and on Sunday, it's going to be another thing entirely. Hallelujah. I want to assure you, it does not matter what you are passing through, just like I said, but all I know is that a, a day is coming, come that is that Thursday and Sunday. And when God opens your door, there are a lot of things that you begin to experience in life. Some people have a serious problem as I'm talking to you. But all I know is that that program is programmed that you might be delivered. So wherever you are, you and your family members, just get us, get the bus and uh, locate us there and uh, your life will never remain the same. Yeah. 
Praise God. That is a sure promise. I know I trust God and I believe God and I, I know God I'm serving is a living God. Yeah. He never fails. He bless. So without wasting much of our time, I want us to go quickly to our Bible to read uh, the word of God that we have today. The word of God, I want you to go quickly to your Bible right now. Mark, Mark chapter, <clears throat> Mark chapter, I, I, I want to read Mark chapter 4 and uh, uh, beginning from 35 to 41. So, man of God, if you have it, you can read it also that we can move on. Mark chapter 4 from verse 35. Yes. He said, on the same day, mm -hmm. when evening had come, yes. he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Yes. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And the other little boats were also with him. Verse 37, and a great windstorm arose and it beat into the boat Hallelujah. so that it was already filled. filling. Verse 38, but he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. Imagine that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sleeping on the pillow while there is trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they woke and I woke him and said unto him, Tisha, do you not care that we are perishing? Mm. Then he arose and rebuked the wind mm. and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the title Hallelujah. of this program today, I call it Lord Silence My Storm. Hmm. Lord Silence My Storm. Lord, so silence my storm. Lord, silence my storm. People of God, a day is a day someone blessing is going to what? be uh, released. Amen. A day is a day that God is going to remember someone. The people of God, the, people, the, the disciples of God was with him. Jesus Christ was with him. And at that situation, all of them was in jeopardy. Mm. They don't know what to do. They were shaking and shaking. The wind was blowing. The storm was everywhere. They couldn't know what to do. They begin to what they were afraid. And they swear because they were afraid, they just went and called Jesus Christ. I said, Go to Jesus Christ and went to him. And Jesus Christ, when they got there, they saw Jesus Christ was lying on the pillow, sleeping, mm. relaxing, relaxing, very comfortable mm. without minding. You see, a man that is confidence never shake. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is a man with confidence. But and, do, do you see what happened yes. there? They, they were with the master. Yes. But they did not know the value of the master. I always tell people, show me a man who, who do not have a pastor, and I will show you somebody who is a meat to the enemy. That's it. They were with the master. But they, they could not recognize that the master was with them. That was the way, that's why they were afraid. Exactly. Exactly. You can see that when they were afraid and the master showed them what why he is a master. Yeah. He said, remain calm. Mm. Do not check. Mm. And he, he commanded, he said, he commanded the wind to be calm. Be calm. And the wind was what? He obeyed. He obeyed. And they became surprised. They become afraid. You see, all of them, the Bible said in number 40, said that, and he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? Mm. How is it that ye have no faith? And this is we are Christians of Jesus. Exactly. exactly. You know, there are prayers we pray at times in the church. Oh, God, increase my faith. God, increase my faith. No, it's a wrong prayer point. Yes. The Bible says, even if your faith is as small as mustard seed, seed, you can say to this man to be that removed, I mean, cast into the sea, and it will obey you. Definitely. So it does not matter how big the faith is or how small. It's just what it requires is action. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So people of God, they can understand that the only thing that will make every situation they are going through to mm. stop today is what? Faith. Mm. Jesus told them that. He said that, do not be afraid. He said they, are, they lack faith. So most Christians lack faith. But I am speaking to you today by the ocean that is not pressure, by the power of God in this house ah, today, yeah, by the corporate yeah, anointing, yeah, I declare yeah. to you, mm. I speak to you, yeah. I prophesy to you, yeah. whatever that represents storm, mm. whatever that represents storm, in the name that of you Jesus. are in right in the now, name of Jesus. God is going to silence it. Amen. I said the power of God is my going to hit you, Allah. and that storm will be abated in the, in the name, name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Man of God, I want us to go to the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 8 as we move on. There is something I love there, the word of God, because mm. that is what the people of God want to hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Genesis chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. Are you there, sir? Yeah. Okay, sir. 
Did God remember Noah? Yes. And every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth mm -hmm. and the waters subsided. Yes. Look at that. He remembered Noah. So somebody's problem is being remembered now. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying to you over there, watching us this hour, that God has decided to open the book of remembrance for mm. your sake. Mm. You, it might look that you are forgotten. Makata. That God is silent, it does not mean that God, that, 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 that he does not know what to do in your, your own uh, situation. Mm -hmm. when, when God is silent, it does not mean that God is absent. Mm -mm. God, God can never be absent. Never. But at times he might be silent watching you. Look at what happened in the book of Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were about to throw them into the fire, God was watching them. Of course. They were into the fire. They bundled them, intensified the fire seven good times, and God was still watching them. Yes. He didn't do anything until he manifested. When they threw them inside the fire, that was when God manifested. Sometimes some people may be into a deep problem and they'll be asking God, where are you? Where are you? You're supposed to know where God's supposed to be. God's supposed to be on the throne. You are asking God, where are you? God, why me? No, that is a very wrong question. <laughs> of course not. Praise the Lord. Yes. Listen to me. When we are talking about this storm, there are so many areas that storms can come. Yes. We have people that are facing storm in their marriage. Mm. They have no peace. Mm. They are enduring instead of enjoying. Mm. When you make a mistake to marry knife, not a wife, you are in trouble. <laughs> Show me, listen to me, the, the type of husband you marry determines whether you are going to make heaven or hellfire. Hallelujah. The type of wife you marry determines, the type of husband you marry. So before you enter, you have to pray very well. Hallelujah. Some people use their hand to, to draw trouble and put a neck. And they will be asking God, why? You are the one that put your mess. But nevertheless, God is a merciful God. Hallelujah. He says, so it's not of him that will it, not of, not of him that run it, but of but God that, that showeth mercy. mercy. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you that this moment, God is mercy. Thank you, Jesus. You are facing a storm in your marriage. Hallelujah. This hour, God is settling your case. Hey, yakata, yes, as I'm talking to you, I can see a woman Maku that is dada. having a problem with a husband. Yako dada. Yes, yes. The matter is about to... To, 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 to crash. The, the, the marriage is about to crash. Yes. And what I'm seeing, the Lord is showing me now is that they want to go to court, but the man is not all that strong. But the, the family people are pushing him. But listen to me, I'm prophesying to you over there mm. that this night, as the man is going to sleep, God will arrest that situation. Hallelujah. I see your marriage coming back and I see peace coming back to your marriage. Amen. Every storm in your marriage, Matuda. storm in your business, Kabul. even Listen to me. There are so many men of God that are facing storm in their, in their ministry. Yes. You gather, it will scatter. It will look as if God did not call you. God called you, but there are some situations that warrant that a man must be tested. Exactly. Before you pass the exam, you, you, you enter into another class. Yes. You do an exam. Exactly. You sit for a class, the vigilator will be there to suffice you. <laughs> so why we Christians... When God is testing us, we are always in a, in a haste. Yes. And that is why we normally have problems. But listen to me. God is silencing every storm in your life. Amen. In the Amen. Name of Jesus. So people of God, as you can see that God has packaged something special for you. You can see the great man of God sitting here speaking to you. What we are speaking is just a little of what is about to happen. Mm. What you are about to experience what God has designed you because there is a position you're supposed to occupy. Mm. Katula, Kade. There is a place where you're supposed to be. Mm. There is a place where God has sent you, but you have not reached there. Mm. I remember when God sent uh, 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 Jonah a place. Mm. But uh, when this <laughs> when it, they it, it averted. You see, sometimes a storm can come as a reason of, as, of disobedience. Of course. Of you course. want to take it, okay, This you don't want to follow God. Yes. So many want to follow shortcut. Yes. And there is no shortcut as yes. far as this word is concerned. Yes. There is what they call due process. So sometimes disobedience of some people will land them into mess. Yes. Into storm, into yes. trouble. Yes. But uh, a lady told me, he said, I prayed over how many years, and if God did not, could not be able to answer me, I know what I will do. <laughs> what, <laughs> what will you do? And at the end, the marriage crashed. Exactly. Because of disobedience. Be because of disobedience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see, something like, you see, there is too many things for you to hear. I tell you that God is about to change your destiny. You see, in that place we just read now, it said that in Genesis chapter 8, verse 1 to 3, it said that, and God remembered Noah. 
and God remembered remember Noah. Noah. And God remembered mm. and every living thing Gosh. and all the cattle mm. that was with him mm. in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth mm. and the waters as wages. Number two said, the fountains also of the deep mm. and the windows of heaven were was stopped. Mm. And the rain from heaven was what? Restrained. Kado. And number three finally said that, and the waters return from off the earth Kala, continually. Kala, Kala, Kala. And after after the end of the hundred and fifty days, mm. the waters were what abated. Today I am speaking, Mali, prophesying Baba, to you Baba. whatever that representing storm in your life mm. is going to be abated in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say in the name of and Jesus. And if it is sent by Kapuya. any man or woman, mm. it must go back to send. That is what I'm speaking about. Because the, the world, we, are, we are living in a wicked world. Jesus Christ. Where people, they, 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 they are happy when they mm. see you suffering. Mm. Mm. And they'll be asking you, where is that you are God? Where is that you are God? I always tell people, Mark what we need Mark here Mark. is only proof. Yakada. Psalm 87 verse 17, the Bible says, yes. show me a token for good. That mm. they that hate me will see it, yes. and they, be they will be ashamed Shamed. of themselves. Ashamed of themselves. So sometimes people will rope people and put them into bondage, and they will be happy seeing their mm. suffering. Listen mm. to me. I prophesy to you from this very place. Hallelujah. By the authority in the word of God. Ma as Kudara. many that have made you to be passing through fire. Yaku. You are in that storm this moment, not because you, you wish to be there, but somebody has succeeded to push you there. I release fire this very night. In the name God of Jesus. God is going to judge your enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me, people of God. What God has already orchestrated for your life today begins today. Amen. I am speaking to you wherever you are and you are connected in this program. The only thing you can do is what to make way. Begin to locate where is what Life Grace Ministry International. Mm. Where is it situated? At least you can see on the television. It's situated what in 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 a Taunton Heat, mm. very close to Croydon. Very close to Croydon, number nineteen ninety two Patch Road, in Taunton Heat. You can see the uh, uh, the postcode there. It's very easy to locate. Very accessibly you know when you get to the elephant and castle you take bus 33 it will get you to a bristol and bristol to bus 250 you will get to what a uh, uh, turn to heat when they are coming with train you come uh, through victoria from victoria you enter the train going to turn on heat you stop at the station just about five minutes walk you are there you are coming from london bridge the same train going to turn to heat there is every possibility means for you to get to us on this program if you are coming from crystal palace you take bus 450 it will stop at the Bula Road uh, uh, bus stop. That's also close to uh, uh, our place, just about uh, at, the, at the corner there. You will not miss it unless you are not desperate. Mm. When you are desperate, you will come out from the storm. Mm. When you are desperate, you will come out from your situation. Mm. When you are desperate to change level, because I know mm. after this program, God is going to do something Amen. in your life. God is going to remember you. Amen. I said, God is going to remember Amen. you. I said, God is going to remember Amen. you. I said, my God will remember you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Amen. Christ. As, yeah. as, as, as we are talking now, yes. the Lord is revealing to Hallelujah. me that there is somebody, he, he has been in a very serious problem for mm. some years. Mm. He has certificate, whatever it takes to get a job, but mm. the job is not forthcoming. Yes. And God is speaking to me that mm. I should tell him that in this program, he's going to set him and his Jesus. family free. Jesus, Jesus, what a prophecy. Listen to me. I, I'm speaking to you right now. God is about to do something new in your life. Amen. No matter the condition where you are right now, but I am speaking to you that whatever I represent storm is going to come down. Amen. God is going to remove it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I say God is going to remove it in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. I Amen. say God is going to remove it in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. See, what I'm trying like to let you know that storm in life is what can come suddenly. Hmm. You never expect you when, never it, expect when it, it will come. come suddenly. And it That's comes. why children of God should mm. be prayerful. Yes, 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 yes. So the problem And that it comes does not mean that you are a sinner. No. You know, there are sometimes you... Of course. Some people begin to question, just like what happened in the book of Job. Yes. The three friends of Job, instead of them to be, you know, encouraging him and, you know, try to make him to, to cheer up, they were blaming him. Are you sure you are not a sinner? There are situations that when it will begin to happen, at, to, to, happen to a man, especially... When heaven is closed, yes. 
when the heaven is closed, the earth will, 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 will be against the person. The door also is shut. No help. No help. Is it man of God? What? You have people that will help you and they will be angry. They will be angry. You call their number, they will switch off phone. But I prophesy to you today. Oh, Jesus. I don't care to know how long. I don't care to know how long. But all I know is that our God is yeah. able. Yes. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. The Bible says, Unto him that is able mm. to do exceeding abundance. Above. We yeah, think of that for, according to the power that worked in us. Mm. What we need is just only faith. To exercise faith and know that God is God. He will never abandon of course, any of, of his course. children. You know, man of God, is that one thing about storm is that it can be violent. Yeah. And the, the thing is that storm is not a respecter of all, all, mm. a person. The person. It doesn't respect anybody. Mm. It just comes when you blow. You begin to say, somebody that is already doing something mm. already. He sees something at a time. He see, and, I, I, and, I, and when storm comes, it, it, it brings emotions of fear. Of course. It brings anger. Of course. Frustration. Mm. Somebody will be disorganized. Totally destabilized. If you don't have faith, you can quit. I'm telling you. I speak to you. Mm. I prophesy to you that is watching right, right now. Whatever storm mm. today, I, is, as you connect in this world, mm. you are coming out of it in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I say you are coming out of it in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I say you are coming out of in Jesus' Amen. name. I say you are coming out of in Jesus' Amen. name. You are coming out of it in Jesus' Amen. name. You see, when the storm came, you remember that uh, September 11, mm. how when the storm came to America, wow. it was not as, they never expected they never expect that. It, and it just came. Mm. It does not respect. That's why I'm speaking to you. This is a time for you. To, what you are going through now may be a storm, but mm. you may have not re realized it. Because I to you right now that God has already designed you for you to come out of every situation. And that's why somebody should be peaceful and be watchful. Yes. The, the, the Bible said in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, it said, when you think you have stand, it said, be careful, you don't fall. Exactly. The reason that so many have failed, do you know why? Some, they, they trust in, their, in, in, in what they have. Yes. They never believe oh, God is the one that gave this thing to them. Exactly. They thought it is there by, by their power. <laughs> I, wa I want to ask the Bible verse in uh, Daniel 2. Mm. It said on uh, chapter 2 verse 20, said, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God mm. for ever and ever, and ever and for ever. wisdom and might are his. <laughs> Number 21 said, that, and he changed the times <laughs> and, the seasons. and the seasons. He removed what kings uh. and seated up Kings, he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Mm. That is just like what you're saying. Yeah. You see, it is to God who can do everything. Because mm. some people thought that the position they're occupying mm. today is their own it's making. Own making. Mm. It's not their own making, mm. it's making from God. Now, there is another thing, mm -hmm. man of God. You see, storm, if it's not bring you closer to God, it will take you completely yes. away from God. Yes, yes. If problem yeah. did not bring you close to God, Closer to him, it will take you away from. Of God. course, and that, uh, some people, you know, when they look at the situation, so many have committed. So we wish that the the the, the fact death should come and take them away. But that life is not the bed of roses. Exactly, there is time for everything. That's it. So when you are enjoying, prepare for the evil day. Hallelujah. But my prayer. Is that evil day will not come to your life, to your to yourself in the name of Jesus? Amen. You know, it, it, it depends on what you believe. Yes, we will not be far from uh, the truth. There is time for everything. Yes, time for evil day, time for the day of enjoyment. So it is always like that. So storm is bound to. It happens to so many preachers. So many churches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know. They gather and scatter. Yes. They gather and scatter. As I'm talking to you, there is a man of God that is watching this very Yes. And all this while you have been through spirit. You have done all what you know that is the best. But the church is still suffering. Then I want to tell you this moment. That today is the end of your suffering. Amen. Every storm, the worst storm. The storm in the ministry. Yes, because it, it will happen to the to the level that some of your members will begin to doubt you whether you have anointing or not. <laughs> Man of God, prophesy. You are having problem. Then how can you you know solve our problem? But they forget that you are only just 
A vessel. A vessel. You are not God. That's why the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So people should learn how to focus and believe in God, trust totally in him when they found themselves into trouble. You are not going to end. That problem will not kill you. Amen. That is my prophecy for you this morning. Hallelujah. Is that it? prophecy, this afternoon, that prophecy, that very trouble, that problem you found yourself, that mess you found yourself, that storm will not overwhelm you. Amen. Many do such fire. And they came out and they are giving testimony. You too will give testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, the problem, man of God, is that look at uh, when you, while we are speaking, I was beginning to think about Job. Mm. Job was a man when his own time of storm came. You see, when he was saying about his friends, mm. it was like the friends was trying to tell him, oh, do this and that. Even but, the wife. Yes, of course. But the storm was there, but Job could not shed. He refused to, to, to give up. Do you know that it, do you know that what Job applied? He applied what Jesus Christ told the disciples. Mm. He said they lack faith. Mm. Job applied faith. He applied faith. He remembered, he know who he is. Even serving. though he's let me. Ah, Gada. Kala he said, no, I, I, know I know my redeemer lives. I know my redeemer lives. So my you are supposed to know yes. the God that we serve. Yes. It's not yes. a small God. And when God remembered Job, hmm. he did what? He turned the captivity. captivity. Today, as you connect to the world that is coming, hmm. God is going to change your Amen. I say God is going to bring you out of captivity. Amen. God is going to bring you from loneliness to highliness, Amen. from poverty to riches, Amen. from victory to victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, I am speaking to you right now. The time is approaching for we to go on break. Mm. As we are going on break right now, we are coming back only just to join hands with corporate anointing to speak to you, Malibu to pray Shashala for you, Allah. to Limbra join hands with you. Mm. Whatever storm that you think it might be, mm. situation you are right now that looks like storm, I am speaking to you as we join hands together mm. to pray for you. Your story will change. Amen. You will have a new you. God will going to answer your prayer Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. So right now, we are going on break. After break, we are coming back. The line will be opening and then have the opportunity to call and God will bless you with our prayer. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Now wait, let us go to break. Amen. amen. God is good. So people of God, the time is set for you to connect. So wherever you are right now, I want to, the line is opening right now. I want you to make your phone call as we join her today to pray for you. I am speaking to you as you know your situation. You know that the, li the, the life you are living now, running around and around, is not what you permit, God permitted you to do. The potential that God has given to you need to be in operation.